One of the things you learn very early on as a parent is that you can't actually prepare for being a parent. You know, when I think back to when we had our first child, uh, there were you took we took a Lamaze class and it was like pretty intense. And there were these, you know, just some, the videos were, were really strange watching like births happening and just all the, the exercises on breathing and different things. I, I thought, I, don't, I think I didn't remember any of it by the time it got to like actual time for my wife to have our, our first child. And even more so than like childbirth was like the moments afterwards, the moments of going home and, and being in charge of a new life. A and just the amount of stress I remember feeling those first two weeks was pretty intense. And I share these things with you as we're at the, the final days, even the final hours of, of Advent, this simple journey towards understanding who Jesus is. I wanna invite you again, just remember as we get close to Christmas, in the same way, I don't think we could ever truly prepare for an encounter with God. We can ever truly prepare or make ourselves ready. But still, somehow the beauty of Christmas is it's not about us. It's not about the things we did or uh, whether, or not, whether we prayed enough or did enough things. But the fact is that God wants to meet us where we're at. And whether you've had an amazing Advent whether this is the first video or you've watched every video, whether you've prayed a ton or prayed a little, what I wanna encourage you is that God wants all of your heart. He doesn't want you to hold anything back because he holds nothing back. He comes and meets us in the poorest of states as an infant born among animals. There's no way Mary and Joseph could have ever truly been prepared for Jesus. There's no way any of us as, as parents are ever prepared for what's about to happen. And, and I think in that very same way, there's no way we can truly prepare, be prepared to receive Jesus, but we can open our hearts. And when we do, I can promise you this, that your life will be changed forever. Just like as a parent, my life has been changed and continues to be changed and I continue to feel like I'm not prepared, but I continue to, to, to see in my kids this beauty, this, this love to be challenged. So I pray this Christmas season, as we transition from Advent into Christmas, may you allow yourself to truly receive and truly give yourself to Jesus. Don't hold back.